the long march in the eyes of foreigners. At the beginning of the new millennium, 24 internationally renowned scholars selected 100 major historical events that profoundly affected the advancement of human civilization. Three of them occurred in China, one of which was the Red Army's Long March in 1934. Why does it have such a tremendous impact worldwide, and how is it regarded by foreigners? British missionary Rudolf Bossart was the first to introduce the Long March to the West. He was detained by the Red Army in late 1934 and was forced to participate in the Long March. Although he felt wronged, he was filled with admiration of this feat as a witness. Three months after he was released, he wrote his experience in a book titled The Restraining Hand, praising the heroic, disciplined, and aspiring Red Army. American journalist Edgar Snow interviewed the Red Army in northern Shanxi in June 1936 and published Red Star Over China in October 1937, claiming it as an incomparable epic expedition which caused a stir in the Western world. In 1984, Harrison Salisbury the former deputy editor-in-chief of the New York Times visited China out of admiration. He conducted interviews along the route of the Long March and visited many survivors and local people. In the following year, The Long March, The Untold Story was published. Interestingly, he linked the Red Army's Long March with the new Long March of China's development. In the 1990s, photographers from a dozen countries shot scenery along the route of the Long March and published a picture album titled China, The Long March, showcasing the changes along the route. Nowadays, many young foreign travelers also choose to walk along the route. Why are foreigners interested in and speak so highly of the Long March? Perhaps British scholar Dick Wilson can sum it up in these words. The Long March has become a symbol of the continent. Human determination and perseverance makes it possible to achieve their means.